they are kind of well big topics to um, to process in an album, I guess. Um, did you talk with the other band members about what their views are on this, or about the material of the books, or those kind of? I things? absolutely did because I knew it. it uh, the album is about big themes and even delicate issues mm -hmm. here and there. So yes, I went through every single band member and explained what was about to come. And everybody agreed and everybody said that this is exactly what we sh should do now. But um, did they also agree with the, um, well, maybe views you express or? Maybe with what? The views you have expressed or? Yes, yes, I mean, Everybody read the lyrics, everybody heard the songs. We had long conversations in the summer camp about these issues. And, and uh, I mean, for example, evolution, it's not a debatable thing. So what is there to debate? True. They, they just thought that uh, it's a really cool idea to, to do an album based on these things because we have always been more about fantasy and escapism and really personal life stories and in that sense this album is the least personal album that we've ever done. Mm -hmm. um, well like all, of, all of the songs um, you, you could I guess you could kind of say it's a, a concept album. It's all in based. a very loose sense of the word yes there are a few songs that I deal with these issues uh, in a more prominent way but then there are songs like Yours is an Empty Hope or Idi Maru, which don't really have much to do with this. But there is this um, overall atmosphere of uh, praising the natural beauty and uh, it's very pro-life from beginning to the end. And One of the most uplifting works we have ever done in that sense as uplifting well. Uplifting what? Uplifting, optimistic. Ah, okay. Um, you already yours mentioned Yours is an Empty Hope. Um, well, it's not then related to the origin of life theme? No, 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 it's something completely different. <laughs> and yeah. what, what but is I, I never want to go too deep into the lyrics, because <laughs> it would kind of ruin the mystery and the joy of discovery by yourself. But um, the lyrics for that song were actually written by Marco and me together. And, uh, it's the song that's like the furthest away from all the other songs, uh, thematically. But let's leave it at that. It's, <laughs> let's leave people the joy of discovery. Okay. Um, I, I noticed in Decades in the Sun, it's, there's uh, parts about mother and father and um, candle of memory. It's all uh, has a air of nostalgia maybe or well. yeah yeah absolutely does it's a it's a song made for our parents okay yeah. specifically for your parents or? Mm, everybody's parents everybody can hopefully relate to those but um, of course when I wrote the lyrics I thought about my parents is it a way of saying thanks or? yes okay. very much so Um, let's see. Well, uh, Richard Dawkins, you've actually had him on on the last track. Um, sp he does some speaking parts, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Um, how did you? Well, I guess of course he was an inspiration, so that's why you asked him. Mm -hmm. But was it, what was his initial response? Um. His first response to me was by email telling that thank you for the letter you sent me. I've never heard of Nightwish before, obviously, but he had gone to the internet and listened to some of our stuff and uh, found it interesting enough to collaborate with us on this album. And the parts that he speaks, um, are they his, um, his words? Yeah, the first two paragraphs are from his own books, and then the last one that he recites is the it's famous Darwin. Charles, yeah, Darwin yes. quote. But also the album opens up with his quote, uh, the shadow before the beautiful one, and that was written by me. And why was it important for you to, to have him on to, to speak those parts? Well, it, it's really helpful for the dramatics of the song, 
because The Greatest Show on Earth is also a book by Dawkins, which heavily inspired us writing this song. So it just felt like it would make a perfect match to have the author himself come and join the song. And he has a lovely, smooth, gentle voice as well, which is a pleasure to listen to. Well, I've noticed um, in this song that there's a comparison to a show, life as a show, maybe? The greatest show on earth is life, yes. Yes, um, but also on ED Maril, you have um, the, watching the planetary curtain go down, and on the last album, Story Time, mm -hmm. it was also the, at least the clip was all a show setting. So, it's maybe I'm wrong, but it, it seems like something like a general theme that you compare life maybe to a show. That's what it is. Yes, yes. It's not my idea. It's Dawkins's idea. But why do you agree with it then? Why do you think that life is a show as well? Well, it's just a poetic way of putting it. Simple as that. Yeah. Well, um, the first album with Floor, of course, uh, as a vocalist. Mm -hmm. um, how important has she become to the band in the past years? Well, superbly important, of uh, course. Mean, She's the lead aside, singer. Yes, aside from that, um, what kind of energy does she bring in, into the group? <laughs> she brings a lot of motivation and devotion. Before we en even entered uh, the rehearsal studio to rehearsed those songs, she already knew all the lyrics and songs by heart, according to the rehearsal tape that I had sent her a couple of months before. So the passion for singing her parts and doing this album with us was really there and still is. Okay. Um, of course, well, since you are the songwriter, you've also wrote her her vocal parts, did it um, in some way um, teach you to, to write with a new vocalist? To write lines for a new and different vocalist? The songwriting process didn't change at all. Mm -hmm. Of course I had a Floor's voice in my mind when I was doing those songs. In the same way that I always have uh, Jukka's drumming and Empus guitar playing and Marcos bass playing and singing in my mind when I do the songs. Troy's pipes, all that. But uh, Floor, as, as a singer, she's as versatile as it gets, really. So I didn't have to restrict myself in the songwriting, if, if that's what you mean. That was what I meant. <laughs> okay, yeah, not at all. Um, uh, your drummer, Jukka, pulled out uh, during the recordings and of the tour because of insomnia. Uh, how is he doing now? Do you know? He's doing much better. We are in contact all the time because he still takes care of the band's business, merchandise, all that. And he's actually still a member of the band. That's what it says in the album booklet. Drums by Jukka Nevalanen. Drums on this album performed by Kai Hahto. But uh, he just needs a long breather now. So in two, three years, we'll know about the future. Okay. And, well, uh, Kai also fi uh, filled in then during the recordings. Um, how was it to have someone else drum? Weird. <laughs> really weird. Uh, <laughs> we rehearsed for about a month with Jukka already. And uh, then he just finally gave up saying that I can't do this anymore and we have a schedule to keep, we have to find a substitute. Jukka insisted us on having a substitute ASAP and the only person that we could really think of was Sky because we go back a long way, we know how he's like as a person, he's a good friend and uh, of course a really professional drummer. So. Good for us, he had the motivation and the time to be able to join the band and, and then save the whole project, <laughs> I could even say. We only had six days to work with him, to practice the songs and arrange them before entering the studio, so it was quite the hassle. 
And he's also doing uh, the tours the next? Yeah, he's going to do the whole tour. Okay. Um, you've both worked on this album and your solo album at the same time, right? Uh, at the same time yeah. period? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but after that, how do you recharge your battery, I guess? What do you do to relax after after such intense songwriting for a long period? Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying the moment now. I'm enjoying this promo tour, the upcoming days when we start rehearsing for live shows. Um, seeing people's reactions. You know, experiencing all the hassle of the single and video and album release, it's, it's a lot of fun, it's very inspiring. And then we go on tour and uh, that's it, pretty much. Okay, thanks for your time. All right, thank you.